My hero is a man called Jack Reacher. <laughs> now, some of you know who that is. That's quite a good reaction. If you don't know who it is, don't worry. I will quickly tell you everything you need to know. Jack Reacher is the star of a series <coughs> of... I'm going to call them novels. <laughs> And they are the sort of novels that you see advertised on uh, billboards in airports and train stations and uh, bus stops. He's one of those guys, one of those characters that seems to spend an inordinate amount of time being back. <laughs> if you're wondering, what's he back for? Nine out of ten times, spoiler alert, it's revenge. And, and Jack Reacher has no character whatsoever, right? He's, he's got one character trait, he's six foot five. <laughs> That's it. Which is why it was all the more amusing when in the movie he was played by <laughs> Tom Cruise. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and what Tom Cruise's agent referred to as a three crate movie. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's just sizes, there's nakedly sizes. Too, sorry. But he has no character, and the, what happens in every Jack Reacher book is that, and I read three and a half of these on holiday, right? I tore through them. Absolutely love them, I don't know why. In every book, Jack Reacher is uh, hitchhiking at the beginning of the book, and he gets picked up by a completely random, genuinely random stranger who turns out to be at the centre of a gun running or drugs ring of some sort. There's a load of snipers, and then Jack Reacher kills all the snipers. Right? <laughs> and at the end of each book, he doesn't get the girl, he gets the bus. Brilliant. Like, Reacher, take me with you. No. And he just leaves, right? Brilliant. And these are not <coughs> short books, right? They're short chapters. They have to be because uh, they need to keep you uh, hooked. So every chapter is like one sentence long. So, <laughs> yeah. so you don't do that with a Kindle, do you? <laughs> I just made that this morning. Just that. Or uh, if you're wearing gloves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've got gloves on, you're like, oh, it's Steve. <laughs> <laughs> so each, each chapter is like this. Chapter one, there was a guy. I've got to ring on and find out. Chapter two. He was a bad guy. I don't like the sound of this guy. I wonder what he'd done. Chapter three. He'd done some bad stuff. I knew it, didn't I? Chapter four. Then he took off his motorbike helmet, shook out his long hair, and turned out to be a woman. I did not see that coming. This is brilliant. The only way this could be better is if she was a sniper. Chapter <coughs> five, you bloody legend. No, absolutely. <laughs> now the point he has no character is key. He has even less character than James Bond, right? What do we know about James Bond? He's a womanizer, he's got a silencer. That's all we know, and that's all we can know, because idiot men need to pour ourselves into an empty vessel, right? <laughs> so every James Bond book and movie begins the same. James Bond walked into the bar. He thought nothing and looked at some tits. <laughs> and all the men, all the men are reading that going, how do they know? Strumming <laughs> my pain with his fingers. <laughs> Jack Reacher has even less character than Bond, right? Bond, at least, will do like he'll do a, a killing joke. He'll kill someone and then he'll make a joke about it. So James Bond will kill someone using a hat and then he'll say something like, Ooh, looks like the atmosphere in here got a bit sombrero. <laughs> Jack Reacher doesn't even do that. He doesn't have the imagination. Jack Reacher could kick three baddies down three different wells, and it would not occur to him to go, well, well, well. <laughs> he, wouldn't even, he wouldn't even think of it. He doesn't have the imagination. My dad would think of that. 